I'm sorry, but I find it completely unnatural. I don't get why you think cremation's so bad. Everyone outside Navarra burns their dead. All those lost vessels. Fine mansions reduced to ash. Manfred, for instance. How would his wisp have fared if I hadn't given it a body? <laughs> if I say, good to meet you, will he get that? Manfred's alert to the sentiment, certainly. I encountered him as a wisp in the necropolis years ago. A simple spirit, but so curious. He refused to leave my side. So, you built a skeleton for the spirit to live in? Spirits are formed from the emotions and desires of people in the mortal realm. Manfred's wisp came from curiosity. It's these spirits which animate the dead. Their drive revives the corpse, yet the corpse colors their actions. Thus, the eternal question, are undead inhuman spirits puppeting a body, or does some shade of the departed return? I can't answer that. Can you? I've come to believe there is a return. I swear I could see it sometimes, Rook. A glint of recognition of something more in the dead. Hey, that's my sleeve. Are you trying to steal my buttons? As well as a certain mischievousness, Manfred. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Please do. I need to hear an actual voice now and then. Can't imagine why. I'm starting to dream that I'm a griffin. Squawk. Well, you get high marks for effort. He's toying with me. So what brings you by? Just curious, really. Wondering what it's like being a Grey Warden. There have always been these legendary warriors living apart from the world. Don't know about that. I spent time with people who were bad right up till they took their vow. How so? Weishaupt is the last stop for the wrong sort. If you're facing prison or worse, you can always join the Grey Wardens and take your chances with the Blight. I'd rather take my chances in prison. Eh. It's not all bad. When does it get good? When darkspawn threaten a village, when innocent people are in danger, then we swoop in, swords held high, armor gleaming, while a hundred faces look to us for salvation. And they all live to see the sunrise because of what we do. Okay. Now I get it. Best part is the warden fighting alongside you. Maybe they've done some bad things in the past. But after that day, it's different. There's some honor in their life where there wasn't before. Nothing like seeing redemption happen before your eyes. Once a thief, always a thief. Yeah? Is that experience talking? I'm just saying I'd watch my back if I was a warden. When the storm comes, you don't want farmers and florists fighting archdemons. It takes the wrong sort to put the world right. Kinda like us, I suppose. Minus the skeleton butler. I don't know. Manfred the Warden. Has a ring to it. <laughs> How about we quit while we're ahead? See you around.
Why do you run around in fancy mage clothes? Because I like them. You're barely even wearing a shirt. You fight Anton with a bad midriff. Everything all right? We're fine. Just trading fashion tips. So what I wear is a problem for you. It's not. It's just... Why dress like that? Are you trying to make your mother happy? Tosh, what's going on? Something is clearly bothering you. My bets on mothers and dresses. It's just something my mother said the other day. And I act more like a man than a woman. And you feel like you should wear dresses to make her happy? <laughs> no. Can you imagine me in a dress? I'd look stupider than I... I'd look stupid. You wouldn't look stupid in a dress, if that's what you wanted to wear. I don't want to wear a fucking dress! Clear and to the point. So, what do you want? Your mother didn't just make you angry. Something she said got its hooks into you. Why? It feels... right. When she says I act more like a man. It feels... right. Why does it feel right? Tosh, do you like being a woman? <laughs> Nobody likes being a woman. Ah. Uh. This is stupid. Forget I said anything. Forget it, or dig into it, whatever you have to do. But if our dragon hunter isn't at her best, people will die. <sighs> yeah, I'll figure out my crap. Whatever it is. Some of my friends in Minrathas talk about not feeling comfortable in their own skin. As a man, as a woman. I could see if they'd like to talk. Maybe what they say fits how you're feeling. Yeah. Okay. And thanks. You do look really pretty. Oh? To look at, I'd smudge your makeup. Thanks for letting me down gently. Vakanis? Where is he? supposed to work let Lucanus go don't make us hurt both of you what's going on Lucanus it's not Lucanus it's the demon it's taking him over he's trying to leave <sighs> smells like jam and brimstone Rook do something spite stop not taking the carnage through the Alluvian. I could, if you'd move. So you can take him where? Off a cliff, or worse? How did... Rook? Dash? Ah. You tried to walk through the Alluvian in your sleep. Spite wanted out. I need coffee. Are you sure you're all right? These... Could be better. It's hard for Spide to take control when I'm awake, so I try to stay awake. You can't just stay awake forever. I think that would kill you. I'll be more careful next time. You need to restrain yourself while you sleep. Lock the door, tie yourself to the bed, whatever it takes. I'll come up with something. And 
Thanks. I cannot say. Who created you? I cannot say. What can you say? I cannot say. Right. Deserve that. Got the Archive spirit working, I see. Rook, you're here. And I did, sort of. A little bit. It appears, but it won't tell me anything. You simply ask the wrong questions. A common affliction of the weak-minded. Also that, it's kind of mean. I thought it was just an archive. How can it be mean? The creator, its creator, I mean. An archive spirit takes on the personality of whoever makes it. Which, okay, that's an idea. Syrian learned a lot, taught me a lot about these archives. They have, well, not thoughts like us, but sort of pathways, I guess. They can only respond to specific questions worded in specific ways. So, if you're powerful, like almost God-level powerful, how would you talk to someone you see as lesser? Really condescendingly, based on experience so far. Right! You wouldn't ask questions, you'd tell them what to do, so let's try that. Archive, tell me who built you. One of the greatest of Elvenan, a steward of her glory. Truly, I was blessed to bathe in his warmth. Anaris built me, and to him I shall someday return. You mean, the Forgotten One? I cannot say. Good point. It came later. What do you mean by it came later? Oh, I meant later after Elvenon fell. We didn't call them the Forgotten Ones till after that. They were the bad gods. Disease, pestilence, weren't supposed to speak their names. Not like the good gods, you know, Elgernon, Gilanane. But now we know the truth about the Evanuris. So we don't know for sure what the Forgotten Ones were, I mean. They used to say Solus was one, so best case scenario, like him? Worst case, well, you heard it talk. Right. So this thing's dangerous if it belonged to one of them. Could be, but still important and invaluable. Everything Anaris knew, this thing knows, and my people deserve to know. If I can get it to tell me... You have a chance to learn more about your people. Go for it. Just be careful. And try not to break anything. Right. Thanks, Rook. All thanks must be given to Anaris, for he will cast down the oppressive Evanuris and take his rightful place. What a shame I can't stay longer. Good luck. Appreciate the support.
Okay, that's enough. Quiet now. Fine. Who wants a treat? I didn't know Manfred could eat. Not sure if he knows either. But it worked. Let's see what he does with it. Yeah, if I had a treat. That was just a little white lie to quell the riot. Are you sure it's little to them? Now you've done it. Manfred won't be denied. Come on, guys, give me a break. Rook? I'm sure a big strapping warden like you can handle a cat and a misfit skeleton. What if Manfred bites? <laughs> eh, probably just baby molars. This all sounds like too much fun for me. Wait, you can't just leave me with the- Good luck with that. Hey, glad you stopped by. I was gonna grab drinks with the Lords of Fortune at the Hilt. You're a lord. You should come. Sounds good. Need an edge in the Hall of Valor? Come take a look. Get you at the hill. I saw the Hive Vernal flying by with my own eyes, big as the sky, and ready for the lords to come be heroes. We take it down, and the village nearby will eat like kings and love us for it. It had bright red and blue scales that will be worth a fortune even beyond the horde. That's not a Hive Vernal. You saw a cult in Zahn. And she's acting normal. She's not one of the dragons blighted by the gods. Going after her would get us killed for no good reason.
I'm gonna have to side with the Lords of Fortune's resident dragon expert. You sure you're not just scared, Tosh? Fight it if you want. Tell us where to send your stuff after it kills you. Aw, oh, sorry, Cutter. Tosh gets final say. We leave the Cultons on alone. You think I can't fight a dragon just because I don't breathe fire? You can't fight a dragon because you don't know what you're doing. Fine. You're the expert. I guess he couldn't handle the heat. Not like you can, huh? Oh, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> There's rumors of another dragon off to the west. Heard anything, Tosh? Yeah. Not sure if it's blighted like the ones that attacked Minrathis and Treviso. But it's killing people in villages near Arlothan Forest. They need help. Well, that's glory. It's a fire breather. They always have lairs with a horde. And there's gold. Tempted yet? We might be able to spare the time for a dragon hunt. Can't wait to see what you find. Now, has Tash told you about fighting a Gamadon Stormrider in the middle of a typhoon? Best time to catch him. Oh, it was glorious, Rook. You seem at home here, or is it a front? You know something I don't? So much for a straight answer. Nev, you don't strike me as an animal person. Besides cats, maybe. Oh, I'm not. Back home, you find a creature bigger than a cat, and it's probably half demonic. Damned if a third of the cats aren't either. That's nothing like you, is it, Asad? You might be fluff all the way through. <laughs> it was a compliment. Of all the nonsense we've run into, you're what's strange. Asan, really? There's been a god or two I didn't expect. But bad mages trying to make the world worse, that's not new. I had an uncle who went on about wardens and griffins. Loved the feathered things. They were always the heroes. If we're getting bedtime stories turned real, having griffins in the world again, it's not the one I'd have bet on. You know you're sweet with him. Aren't I always? <laughs> I walked into that. <laughs> Sing your praises and you still want something. I'll find you a treat if you don't tell Davrin. Have we got a deal? Hey, son. Between you and me, I think I like her. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Listen up. If Davrin finds crumbs, Rook takes the fall. Falling on it.
Rook, interested in visiting the Memorial Gardens? What are you up to? I must tend to some rites in the necropolis. I'd like to show you its more peaceful side. I see we've company. at the morn watch. Ready and waiting. Navara is dedicated to preserving the deceased. I suppose the display of the Grand Acropolis is the most exotic of the world. Can't say I see it every day. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
the odds there. Got us at range. Watch it. <sighs> Thank you again for coming. My duties include tending to these rites of remembrance. <laughs> Excellent. Manfred found his way down. Uh, very good, Manfred. He sounds excited. <laughs> I thought we'd start the rites here. A tableau of the dead, commissioned 173 years ago. These lives were flickers against the ages, precious, fragile, and finite. Now they serve as a warning. Don't linger over long in the gloom. Live with grace and fervor while you may. No one's going to seize the day for you. Just so. That one's livelier. Here. Who were you when you breathed above? This body was a tailor's, a mother's. She laughed and taught and wove the robes kings wore when they were crowned. Someone must realign her thoracic vertebrae. I hope the novices are inspecting the displays. Seems pointless. No one here is expecting company. Are they? Let's continue. So, what now? We light candles in remembrance of the dead. Would you care to light the candle, Rook? Look at this, the last tomb of the Tannhausens, a very influential family in the Storm Age. We broke the bones of dragons. A posthumous motto. Their last heir met his match against a Highland Ravager. Death by dragon. I'm surprised there was enough to bury. How interesting that the necropolis moved these gardens so far below. So, the necropolis actually shuffles its rooms around? From time to time. Very unlikely to happen while we're inside a chamber. Could you light the next candle? Aha! One of my favorite flowers! A variegated weeping widower. You know your plants? Oh. Alchemy is my hobby. It's a break from teaching spirit calling and theoretical applied metaphysics. Right. Just on the side. This way, Rook. You were right about the gardens being peaceful. The necropolis has its dangers, but these places are a refuge for the dead. How many people are buried here anyway? Excellent question. We rarely should take a new census. You'll need to light these candles as well. Open your hearts to the final day, companion of all the ages. You remarked earlier that keeping this place in order seems pointless, but there's meaning in how we tend the necropolis. Just seems like a lot of ceremony. The ceremony can be the point. The spirits gather. Only a few more candles. Follow me. Ah. 
Ah, look here. Hi. Should I say hi? It's curious about you. We're also enjoying the gardens, but we've one last ritual ahead. On your way, my friend. Spirits really are your specialty. I've always had a rapport with them. Even as a child, they were my companions. After you started training here? After I was orphaned. Oh. A collapsed building, swift deaths. After the funeral, the watchers took me in. Belated condolences, if that's worth anything. Always. We move on, as we must, but those long nights linger about the shadows. How did you deal with it? I didn't. When I first arrived here, I was terrified. And you still joined the Watchers? They're what saved me. Come. The next set of graves lies ahead. Please, light the next candles if you would. There's much to recommend about the rhythm of a ceremony. It eases our worst hours. As a boy, the Watcher's rituals were exactly what I needed to steady my days with purpose. And some death magic? Well, every young mage needs a speciality. All this pageantry, this magnificent gloom and its rites. I ask you, Rook, what is it for? It's got to be the living, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. This place is an abundance of history, of magic, of memories. The Watchers preserve it so the living may draw comfort from those who've gone before. We must get to the candle, please, Manfred. You told Harding that Manfred used to be a wisp until you gave him a body. Yes. He's taken so well to it, haven't you, Manfred? <laughs> Here are the last candles you'll need to light. Once you're ready, we'll need to ring the bell. Let the rites be acknowledged. Our bonds seen and sealed. We honor the listening spirits. Hail from the abyss. We witness, good watcher, faith kept in all our paths. What was... The necropolis hosts many spirits. We thank these guardians for their protection and friendship. We'll need to ring the bell once more to close out the departing ceremony. So you were really afraid of this place as a child? It wasn't the necropolis itself, but what was draped around it. 
Have you ever been frightened by the thought of dying, Rook? Hasn't everyone from time to time? When I was younger, it happened more often than that. That's when I discovered I possess a great terror of dying. It goes beyond dread. It can't be reasoned with or soothed over. It comes without warning. In the dead of night, in sunlit streets, a roar, strangling fear, struck somewhere deep past the heart. That's an issue for a necromancer. Oddly, I discovered I wasn't alone. I debated this fear with friends. I argued with teachers. Yet, it lingered. Manfred's right. That's maudlin enough. There are struggles, but a Watcher should always find peace amongst the graves. And what sort of host would I be if we didn't end with some light refreshment? Did you set all this up to make a good impression? Of course not. I was only... Because it's working. Then it's my pleasure to share the tranquility of this place with you. <laughs>